In this SOLIDWORKS tutorial, we'll learn how to model this part and we'll uh, do a quick render with uh, PhotoView 360, the light version of Modo that ships with SOLIDWORKS. As you can tell, the part is here and uh, I actually built it with a Revolve, so we'll redo all of this from scratch. But you can tell that I started with this shape, this profile offset it from the center and I then revolve it. Those two yellow things are the fillet here. Then I did some chamfer just to break the light here. Then I used the hole wizard to punch those holes with countersink. Then this is new. I made a custom plane here to uh, create the plane on an angle and then extrude. I also use something new where you can extrude from a, a surface. I think it's this one. So instead of uh, extruding from the sketch, I extrude from the surface, you see? So actually it uh, matched the surface. It's very powerful. So it's basically those two things, the custom plane and extrude from surface with new and the whole wizard. And uh, because I left the space, it's hollow inside. And to repeat this, I use the circle pattern here and there. And I think that's it. Then I just use photo view to do the render. So before we model this, let's learn. I would stay in inches, that's fine. So first, the thing that I want to teach you, it's the offset from surface. So we'll redo it during the part, but I want you to understand uh, the principle. So I sketch on the front part, I go front plane, I go style spline, and we'll just draw some sort of a curvature. Yeah, even like this. Right click select. Then I go line, and voila. Extrude, and we'll extrude it a little bit. So here is something new. To, cust to get a custom plane, you make sure you're not in sketch. You click on the plane that you want. You can press Ctrl to uh, Ctrl usually copy, and you click and drag. If you don't want to press Ctrl, it's the same as doing this. Feature, reference, plane, exactly the same. And here you can put the offset. Look, we can go three inch, a little bit less, two inch. So now I can say OK. And on this new plane, I can draw, let's say, a rectangle. Just to show you. It's very useful when you do mold making, things like this. So now we're going to do an extrude cut, just to show you. It could be extrude or extrude cut. And let's say for a mold, you want the inside to match this profile. This is where instead of using sketch, you can say surface. And if you pick here, you see I'll start from here. And now the inside will match this. So it doesn't really matter where this is. You see now this has a curve. If you go here and go wireframe, you can see it. You see it matched the top curve. So once again, what I did, it's instead of wrong one, it's the cut, instead of um, using the sketch that we usually normally use, I use surface plane and I pick on the face. Okay, so we'll be using this um, and we'll be using a lot of custom plane. Let me do a bit of demo with plane. So we just saw that if we are outside of everything, I can select a plane, go plane here or control, same thing, and drag. So this is one way of doing it. And you can do multiple. If you are doing a propeller, or you could just go multiple here. You could flip, go the other way, and put the distance. Another way of doing a plane is to have something built already. So we can go like this. And let's say I want a plane here or there. I just select. As long as you're not in sketch, select. And you go plane. And now I can say I want this to be half inch off. Now we have a plane there. We can also take this plane and go plane. 
Now the question I always get, it's how do you get a plane on an angle? So you click here and you shift click here. You need two, this and this. Now if you go plane, you have the face and you have the edge here. So now you can say degree and we could go 30 degree. So now I can draw on that plane with on an angle. Go circle. And let's say do a, yeah, a cut. So now our cut is on an angle, you see. So it's quite useful. Now sometimes you don't have an edge. If it was, let's say, a cylindrical shape. Like this. And we wanted a plane here. There's no edge here, there's a circle, but there's not really an edge. So what we could do, it's actually sketch on this line and draw a center line. And that will be enough. We could do a quadrant at 45. And that, look, if I exit, I can select this, shift click this, and now we can do a plane on an angle because we had that center line. So now I can go degree and I could say 30. Draw on it, sketch, control 8, and go uh, and do a cut. And I can go extrude cut. So I hope you're getting it. Uh, I think I use this to do rendering, so I need to turn off this. You only ch check this when you do rendering. Uh, so now we can start this um, this part because we know how to do the custom plane and uh, the sketch offset from sketch. So new part, leave it in inches, and now we can go. We could use the right side because we're going to use a right, and we're going to do an offset here. So I'm going to use a center line like this. And then I'll start drawing my line here. And I usually like to give a sense of scale. So what I can do, um, is go dimension here, smart dimension, click here and there. And now I think I was using something like 0.2 or 0.25. This one was, I was using 1415. And then I had a shape like this. So now that I have a sense of scale, I freehand the rest and just scale it. Nothing is gonna break or here it was really small. I think it must have been just one. And then we had this was one. Then my light went down, my line. Then he went here. Voila. So now I can dimension the rest. I think I had 0.25 here, quarter. This was, I think, 0.1. This was 0.25, quarter. And this was 0.05. Yeah, that sounds right. So, and I think this one was also 0.25. Now you will get 1.5 here. You could also put a dimension by clicking here, uh, an angle, dimension, here, and here. You don't have to shift click and you can enter. The, but I actually don't need it here. Feature revolve. This is like turning something on a lathe. So once again, after this operation, if we need to go back, the sketch is underneath the revolve. So we can go edit here, control eight, and we could tweak if I forgot a dimension or I got it wrong, then exit. If you want to tweak the revolve, it'll be here, 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 and we could do 180. You see, 
and then if I want again a full turn I could go edit and go 360 so you need to understand this can start to create the holes copy them circular pad on them we could just click on this face and go control 8 and then we could draw a circle and we could then make it a center line you click on it for construction so it's just a dash line a construction line and you could place it in between you could dimension it from here to there or if you knew the radius in between but uh, if you want to be precise we could go smart dimension here to here 0.25 so point would be 0.1125 something like that it's okay if it's off a little bit and now we can exit and there is a tool called feature hole wizard we could do the hole by hand but this tool is quite nice because you can actually use a lot of presets uh, so i could go with this one and i could just click sorry position 3d sketch and click one here so we can tell it's uh, way too big so i'm just going to draw one and here we could change the size so we have the metric or so i could go four here it looks like we need something way smaller oops uh, uh, the fit normal or loose uh, the screw type uh, there's a lot you can go here and we can see the counter sink i think it's pretty good so we'll do a test i'll say okay and what i like with this is that we can with all of those standard we can always go back there if something is wrong change it and it will update so now we want to we could press f to frame we want to copy this all around linear sketch in feature circular pattern the direction is this or actually an edge because they are concentric and here we want the feature so we click here we have three choice face feature or bodies and here we actually just want this feature and uh, actually by default it looks pretty good but we could say equality space and we could say six or eight i think i was using six say okay and once again we can go back here and change and it will update next is the custom plane here many way we could just take also the front view do a new uh, sketch and here we could just go center line and we could draw a center line here from here to there that would help us put the sketch here to build the plane you need to exit the sketch so now we have this and we can just go plane and the only thing you have to do is select this face and the line voila so now we have a plane here we can sketch on it Control 8 uh, we could go midpoint halfway and I started with a radius 0.5 and here I can go extrude and here is a tip this is good but I want you see there's a gap between here and here so the second direction here I want to choose instead of blind I want to go up to surface and pick this so now it carries this perfect and in the other example i show you i was using this one okay then to draw on this one we can go here control 8 i think first what i did i now we can click here we can hover here to see the center and just uh, use a larger circle and then extrude and we can also do another uh, we have to make sure it's not too big here circle make one somewhere here same technique construction and uh, here we can also use a pre-made or we could just make our own 0.025 and we'll just do an extra cut here voila chamfer 
here make sure it's not too big of a number and then we can do our circular pattern rotate around this and make sure you have the chamfer and the hole the cut so this one too voila then the rest is mostly cosmetic uh, it's mostly for the rendering actually circular over here we'll need to make sure it's not too big extrude cut and I think in the render I had some fillet here so fillet and it was way smaller it was 0.2 maybe a little smaller than that 0.1 so you see I went a little bit too much here those ones should be smaller and I think we had a, a larger fillet here not as big but something like that and the rest they were mostly tiny tiny chamfer just to uh, bounce the light when I say tiny we're talking like maybe I even had another zero yeah like this so those one you can put them here voila for the rendering as you might remember we need to go perspective to fake a perspective we need to go view, modify, rotate about scene floor so we are flat. We need to bring some lighting, appearances, uh, sorry, scenes, basic. Let's start with this one, double click. And then we can kick the render. So SolidWorks add in, make sure photo view is turned on. And then you go render tools. Under plastic, soft touch. We have some subsurface scattering, so like wax, it let the, the ray of light, the photon, penetrate and bounce it back after. So I think I use the red soft and you drag and drop it here. It just So I can go on the face, the revolve or the body. I think I could just go, uh, then I use yellow and the yellow was the, for the fillet. So I can go here and say fillet, so the both fillet gets it. I think here I use black uh, like this but this one was so here had some black um, so I can come back here put it there so the boss extrude now we could do some light touch with something different uh, it could be a aluminium it could be a white one here I'll just go white and we could put it on the chamfer like this and uh, like this that would make things pop a bit actually so Sam we could put the white here we could go on and go on for the rendering if i remember well what i did was um, and i went um, preview window so to photo view start here i added a bit of ink uh, this is pretty similar to what i've done but um, you could go edit scenes you could rotate where the light is uh, so you could go uh, here if your floor was wrong you could do things like this you could, I think my it was floating a bit, so I click here to put it back. And uh, here I could, I rotated a little bit the light. So I rotated it a little bit to get nicer light. Perspective, that's good. And what we can also do here on the option, we could uh, turn on the contour and I got it on and I use one and I use a bit of gray you won't you see it here but when you go final you'll see it so voila the render with the contour